A push today for lawmakers to take action to strengthen the penalties against child killers. While the House made quick work of the measure to expand baby Brianna's law, it now appears to have stalled in the Senate. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at the Roundhouse with more. Yeah, well, Kim, Representative Sarah Maestas Barnes has tried time and time again to change the law so that anyone who kills a child through abuse faces a life sentence. While she was hopeful as this bill sailed through the House, there is now concern that it won't make it out of the Senate before the session ends. If we are not successful in passing the bill, I hope that I don't have to come back here next year and talk about another tragedy and say, I really wish that the legislature had acted. I really wish that they had done more and enacted this law to ensure that that person responsible for that tragedy receives the fullest sentence um, under New Mexico law. One of those tragedies, the abuse and murder of 13-year-old Jeremiah Valencia of Nambe. Valencia's accused killers face only 18 years in prison if convicted. Under the original Baby Brianna law, when someone is convicted of child abuse resulting in death in our state, they can go away for life only if the child is under the age of 12. Maestas Barnes says it's not fair and that every child deserves equal justice. Now, the bill overwhelmingly passed the House last week, then went to the Senate, but there it sits. It still hasn't been heard in the Senate Judiciary Committee, its first stop in the Senate. Today, district attorneys, the state police chief, and secretary of CYFD urged lawmakers to act. I am completely disgusted at the fact that this bill can't get passed. It makes absolutely no sense to me that, that the legislative body won't engage and pass a bill that essentially protects our, our children from predators. Now, the group was flanked by foster parents and CYFD workers. Maestas Barnes clearly got emotional when expressing her frustration with getting this bill through. Now, we reached out to Democrat Senator Richard Martinez of Española, who chairs the Senate Judiciary Committee, for comment on why he has yet to schedule this bill to be heard. We have yet to hear back from him. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Madeline. Now, the bill also still has to go through the Senate Finance Committee before it could go out for a vote in the full Senate. The session ends Thursday at noon.